Hey there YouTube, welcome to King's Court. I am Shrine King, and this is a guide slash review of a World of Tanks tank, the Type 64 Chinese Light Premium Tier 6. Uh, so, to get right into it, um, for those who are rejo like coming back, or maybe that you've seen some of the other videos, welcome back. Uh, appreciate the views. Uh, for those that are new, a hey, welcome, and just to give you a heads up of what this really is, I'm going to do a review of the tank to say, like, you know, what are the pros, what are the cons, is it worth it, how does it compare? Uh, on top of that, then I get into a guide of how to best play it uh, for performance sake to help you out uh, with your matches, or at least I hope so. So, to get into the right into it, we're looking at pros and cons. So the pros to this tank is one, it's extremely fast. Uh, for a lot of the lights, trying to get up, like having a really good engine and being able to get up to like anywhere from the 60 to 70 uh, kilometers is actually that's really good, right? That's that's what you're really looking for with the light. It makes it really nice. Uh, so this one in particular, you can get up to 72 and 70 kilometers. That makes it really fast, which means you hold it a good advantage to get into position as quickly as possible for passive scouting. Um, that is the only time really that I recommend that you typically get into passive uh, positioning is either right in the beginning or in the case like the uh, feet lay of the land is now kind of you know dished out so that way you can kind of get in a position without being spotted uh, because there's not as many tanks. So that is definitely a big pro to this thing. Secondly, it actually has a decent gun, so it, it is able to pen. Um, it, it's obviously like other lights, so it won't have a lot of alpha damage, but it will have decent alpha damage in comparison. Um, but the key thing with this one is it actually has really good penetration, which is really nice. So it means in the event that you are trying to do some damage or try to be a sniper, you absolutely can, and that makes you a little more supportive to your team. The camel rating is really good in this tank, uh, and that's that is a great thing to have, uh, specifically for uh, the scout. And the other part is it has it's accurate, it has fast reload, and the uh, um, shape of it actually is a, another benefit. Now bear in mind, um, so like when I talk about shape, it's not that it has a lot of armor or anything like that. It's just that it has the correct shape that allows it to actually deflect some shots. Uh, which can be very, very beneficial to you. Now, getting into cons. In comparison to other lights, its actual view range is not the best. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. Uh, as you can see, like even in mine, if you see the green, uh, uh, yeah, the green circle on the minimap, then you see the white circle. That is with uh, like over 100% crew, plus on top of that I have the uh, uh, coated optics, so it gives me the boosted view range while I'm moving or, or you know, while I'm staying still. Uh, essentially, to get maximum view range on this, you would also have to use your uh, um, binox, which is not necessarily a bad idea. Uh, in my case, because of the style of the tank, I don't really do that. So, that's one thing to bear in mind is that your view range is definitely not going to be um, very crazy in comparison to the other lights. Uh, and that does, it's not necessarily something to say, oh, hey, that's horrible. Like, you still easily perform with, with that uh, constraint. The other part is obviously, like any other light, it just does not have a lot of armor. Um, so most there are tanks that can actually uh, penetrate you no matter what, right? So they can overmatch you because the millimeter of their cannon is going to be bigger than, or three times larger than the millimeter of your armor. Uh, or I should say the shell, I should say cannon. Now... The other con is it is open top. Uh, the reason why that's a con is if high explosive tanks or artillery take a shot at you and they actually hit you, especially in your turret, you're going to take boosted damage, which that can really hurt. In the event that, it, like most of those high explosive cannons that you're talking about, it's a lot of damage and you don't have enough hit points to really survive it. So that's something to bear in mind. Now, I mean, overall, that's... The pros and cons, I mean, honestly, this, that is really what it is. It's not necessarily horrible, so uh, keep that in mind. And now, from there, the question is, is it worth it? Well, so what I will say is this. Lights, and more specifically, premium lights, is kind of a rare thing in World of Tanks. Uh, so it makes it really hard to have ways to level up your light crews. Um, so on that focus or on that on that aspect, there is not 
to my knowledge, a second uh, Chinese light premium. Uh, so I would have to say yes, absolutely worth it. Uh, it will help you get your crew up. It'll help you, uh, and it's actually not a bad tank. You know, just on a performance-wise itself, it's not bad. So it's a, it's actually fun. Um, so definitely worth it. In comparison to other lights, if you're, you're like, so if we're looking for, hey, I'm just looking to have the highest performance in a light, uh, that one might be a little more argumentable. Um, the reason being, so here, hey, this was the, the direct representation of what I meant. So that GW Tiger, or the artillery, nailed me, and there was no way I was going to survive. Even if I was at full health, I would not have survived, because I was open top. So the, he... All artillery uses high explosives, so that, that's just the way that goes. So yeah, that is a direct example of why that goes really bad. And that's one of the weaknesses to the tank. So definitely worth it. Um, if you are looking for the highest performance scout that you can possibly get, and you still are looking for a premium, there are probably other premiums available. And I'm thinking along the lines of like the M41, um, I forget the whole the whole name, but it's the German Tier 8 Premium. Uh, that one actually has a really good alpha damage gun with really good penetration, and it's fast, and it's it's got good view range, it's got good camo, it's kind of crazy. Um, and the reason why that one, like like I'm saying, is it's just overall performance and value and money that you'll be able to bring in. It's probably going to be a lot higher. Uh, now, if you're if you are focusing on just Tier 6, though then I would actually argue to say that this one's probably better, right? Uh, the performance on this tank in particular as tier 6 is really, really high, um, and that's really good, right? So that's awesome to have. So there you go. And actually, I'm looking at it, I didn't even have 100% crew in this thing. So it does perform really well. It is very nice um, to have. So uh, definitely worth it. Now, as a guide on how to play this tank. So like I said, it's really fast. It's not necessarily the smallest thing, um, but it's not necessarily the biggest one either. So it's in the medium sized range, in my opinion, for a light. Now, uh, like I said, the gun is really good for it. So there are ways to play this. So what I typically do um, for my matches, and this is a, something I would kind of recommend, I actually put the, the governor on it uh, so that way you get the extra speed, so that way it helps you get into position sooner. Uh, a lot of people, when they're scouting or trying to get, or they end up getting counter scouted, they don't understand that the, the typical reason being is probably because the scout you're against is actually faster than you, and they already made it in the bush and already have activated their camo net, making it to where they can see you and you won't see them. So that is the trick that I typically use. So, and of course it doesn't work on all maps. So you got to kind of pay attention to the maps, learn the layout of the maps. Uh, that is definitely one of the key things I would recommend with any scout, is kind of learn the lay of the land. Figure out where there's good bush, uh, um, yeah, uh, good bushes layout, uh, trees that you can knock down and use for that layout. And also figure out the spots that people like to hide um, and where you need to try to counter or actually watch. So, for example, on this map, I know that down the 9 and 0 line, typically they like to rush it. Now, bear in mind, like I said, I'm not at 100% crew, which is, is can bite you, right? So, like, for example, in this case, I am I am fast. I'm going to get into this bush. So, normally people would probably go to this bush right to the left, and I didn't do that. I actually went to the farther one. It's because I know I can get to this bush um, before they're really wrapping around. Now, had I had 100% crew, I probably would have spotted... Um, and if I had Binox, I definitely would have spotted people. But because I didn't, you'll see I did spot somebody. I just apparently didn't spot everybody. And one of them got a little bit closer and was able to actually see me. Um, and chances are it's the T3485M because that is also a very good tank. And if they've got the crew for it and stuff like that, it's very nice. So you'll see I actually did get spotted. I didn't realize I was spotted, but it probably was the T3485M that spotted me. Uh, now, again, like I said, though, this thing's fast. So right away, okay, hey, I took a hit. I was able to fall, uh, you know, dip down, maneuver, you know, shift where I was located. And now here's some of the, the pros to this tank or styles to this tank that you can actually play. This thing is actually combat effective. 
So I didn't actually go charging or anything like that. I don't need to. I have teammates, but I don't have a lot on my side, and that's something that I'm seeing a lot lately is where typically on the map you're going to see a lemming rush to one side. Sadly, that is the truth of how things are working today. Now, you'll see I've already gotten 500 damage, so that tells me that my teammates who are here to help me are capable of helping me. That's good. That's, that is definitely good. And here what I'm doing is I'm patiently waiting. One, I was hoping they would kind of push, but they didn't push. So now, enough time has gone by and I've seen tanks maneuver in a way that I know that they've probably been spotted. So what I'm hoping is it drew the attention of the enemy. So this is something that you can use as a tactic as well, is give it a little bit of time. A little bit of patience can go a long way in this game. So now that I see that my heavies are pushing up and i got a KV-2 that's pushing up, chances are these guys might have shifted to try to help. And that's okay. That's actually what I'm looking for. So now I'm trying to make sure, okay, hey, you know, can I see them there? I don't see anyone there. All right, let me try to check here real quick, see if I spot them there. I don't see anybody. Now, bear in mind, one thing to note, uh, here's a trick. When I rolled out and I rolled back, I didn't stay there to try to, sit, to see. And the reason being is because if I saw them, I would have saw them, whether I rolled back or not. Um, now, the reason I roll back is because it does take three seconds to actually spot the person. So here you'll see, all right, this guy did angle. Um, he thought he was good, but he really wasn't. So, and like I said, this thing's got a good enough gun. Now, one thing to bear in mind, and I'm not doing this right, I'm engaging him thinking that their team is going to be too preoccupied, but one of their artillery did actually aim at me. So I got lucky. Had that artillery hit me, that would have been really bad. Because, like I said, that's the weakness to this tank. Getting hit by artillery with the high explosives because it's open top is really bad for this tank. So, here, though, the, the eventuality is I did make a smart choice. I backed up. I let it, let it actually get uh, shot by my artillery, like I said, because I knew, just noticed my team was supporting. And now here, again, like this thing's mobility is just amazing. So, I'm like, all right, here, let's go ahead and roll up here. I'm going to see if I can't spot down. So and that's the thing. Bear in mind your the view range that you have, using whatever you can for camo. So here I'm, I actually proxied that guy. So now even though I don't have six cents, I know I'm spotted because that was a proximity. So I got too close, and by getting close, you will get proxy. So key things for this tank. Uh, what I would say is, like I said, it is combat effective, so you absolutely can shoot. And the, the, the funny part is, the gun's not huge, so you don't lose a lot of camo. You just want to be careful. Um, so try to stay you know, distant. If you are going to do it, it's typically a sniper situation. Um, you have good enough camo, so you want to use the camo to your best effect. Uh, because you're combat effective, you can maneuver around, get into positions where you're actually just proxy spotting. Just don't rely on that all the time, because like I said, proxy is meaning that you and them can see you. Um, or you can see them and they can see you. So, and then, like I said, because of the damage output, you can absolutely go combat effective with this thing. So, use your speed, get into a bush, start out by, uh, you know, um, trying to passive scout. In the event that things kind of go bad in your passive scout, you can actually go into active scouting, which means just kind of roam around and start seeing people. But bear in mind, the benefit is to keep distance from your targets, uh, and that'll actually work out the best for you. Uh, good camo, not the best eyes. So if you if it works out better for you starting out, I would actually use uh, Binox until you get kind of used to it. Um, and maybe even if you're starting out with a lower crew, I would highly recommend using Binox. And then once you have your crew all the way up, maybe shifting into other things um, to help uh, with the overall performance uh, for the take. So again, I hope this helps. I hope this uh, is good for you guys. And I will catch you on the next video. Thank you so much again.